For years, many in Egypt have been waiting for this moment, the inauguration of the biggest nanotechnology center in the country. It's part of a national project named after Nobel Physics laureate Dr. Ahmed Zouel. And the Prime Minister joined the ceremony to support scientific research. The partnership between scientific research and the challenges we face is the foundation for our future. The challenges we have, like renewable energy, water desalination, purification or management of sewers, all these files are being studied by the Minister of Scientific Research and professors in our universities and scientific centers to provide the Egyptian model in these problems. <coughs> Zawail City is so far the biggest scientific research project in Egypt. The government donated 200 acres of land to the project and the armed forces is responsible for the construction. It should be ready for full operation by the end of 2015. And Egypt's top scientist says he's sure it'll be a global destination in the scientific community. <laughs> We could have paid a very well-known university, give them $10 million a month to put their big name on our facilities. But we won't benefit from them as much. We have good scientists here and abroad. In a couple of years, I assure you, if you want Harvard, I'll get you Harvard. If you want MIT, they'll come without paying them a single penny. Because they will be wanting to see the scientific advancements that Egypt has reached. The new Egyptian constitution specifies that at least 1% of the country's GDP be spent on scientific research, a field President el-Sisi described as the foundation of Egypt's development. The center will start in fields crucial to Egyptians, beginning with water purification projects. It is offering full scholarship for outstanding students. The city will invest £100,000 annually per scientist. 8,000 scientists have applied to join the new scientific foundation, but only 400 were accepted. Zouail City wants to make sure that it has the best caliber to develop scientific research in Egypt and provide them with the best competitive environment, something Egypt failed to establish in decades. Adil Mahroui, CCTV, Cairo.